Maybe it's about time that I talk about why I don't take things seriously when it comes to um, putting out... Because I hate it. It's not me. I, I can't be serious all the time. Like, think about it. If you ever understand how people work, if you've been trying to make people laugh, try to entertain people for years, you understand how people get bored at times, right? And I understand that people like to be entertained. Now, if you can make entertainment while educating, that's more awesome. I like to entertain the way that I like to entertain because I know that even though it doesn't have value, but it's who I am. Regardless whether you think I should be serious or not, that's just your opinion. I will always be not serious. I like to joke around. I like to joke with my brothers. I don't like to take things seriously. Well, there are times that I have serious sides, of course. Let's talk about being serious for a second, right? What's the point of being serious if you're going to the grave? All It's so stiff, right? And that's what happened when you grow up in this world, right? It's okay. Like, people talk about grow, uh, grown-ups, right? And people have this version about grown-up that uh, it's like... Or a especially Asians, too, right? People think that when you grow up, you are you get to be this stiff, uh, lifeless soul, right? And you don't have anything, like, exciting. You don't have fire in your eyes. You don't have this fucking burning passion of yours. And you're going to take life down. And, um, not life, but I'm talking about a passion, right? Whether you have a passion for something that you want to change. And it's like... Uh, it's like a, you're on fire, like you're like the human torch, and that you, you, you see the problem was people talk about in a lot of personal development law of attraction. They said to use the imagination. I'm using my imagination to its capability, right? That's why I'm showing you how to use your imagination through the content I use, uh, through the uh, persona, the character that I put on, because adults in the adult world it's fucking boring. I'm telling you, it's fucking boring. That's why most of the people in the world, most adults in the world, they fucking like entertainment. They go to watch shows and they fucking zone out and become like a zombie, right? Why not make your life like a fucking entertainment? I like to entertain and educate better because it, it would bore the f, f out of me if I don't do something that to express oneself, right? People, the only reason why I said this is um, either Jim Rohn or personal development. I tried this back in the day where I was so serious about personal development, right? I I reject who I was, right? Well, it's just all serious all the time. Um, I, I wasn't, I like to joke, but the, the it wasn't like full on um, thing. So when you are into personal development, self-help stuff, you learn the things that self-help stuff teach you. But it, the things that who you are, that is your unique signature that you put out into the world. That's what people forget, right? And I wanted to mix the whole entertaining shness together. Come on, man. That's entertainment, man. Like, I love that, right? I love to make people laugh because I know whether you're on the cross uh, of the screen and I can do that because I know how it affect the real world, right? Because if I can just, because I have experience with a lot of people, whether my jokes or my things have uh, get uh, effect on people, it does. Because I've been doing this for a long time. This is back in like freaking high school. I do this stupid crap. Like, it make people laugh. Like, people, because I notice, right, I have developed patterns in my head that if you say the same joke over and over again, it get boring and nobody laugh. People try to laugh. I I, I tried that back in tri, uh, trade school or boarding school. It, it's, it doesn't go well. So you have to try new ways to entertain people, new ways to do things. Or you can use original, um, like thinking, um, trying to make the original more funnier or somehow, like it's it's fun to put. It, so in my world, it's fun. 
if you ever into like anime, right? If you ever into like those cartoon stuff, for me, Dragon Ball Z, Bleach, Naruto, uh, One Piece, right? Luffy, uh, Ichigo, Naruto, Fourth Hokage, Sasuke, um, all these uh, anime that I'm naming, that you put on a mask. You put on, like, people talk about you shouldn't pl uh, play around because that's not adult. It doesn't matter. All actors do that. All people put persona. They're, you know the actor get to become the character, right? They become. They are having like they're they're put, they're putting uh, a show a persona on, and they're acting and they're living their life, having fun. Whether they look like having, I guess there's live mission. But that's a fucking thing that people watch, right? And the problem is people are sitting on the couch watching the fucking shit. And not being like fucking developing their character, their soul, passion, mission, whatever, they go through that. And they're entertained. Like, I'd rather be entertaining and educate at you at the same time than watch my life pass me by while watching someone else live their life and having fucking awesome time. Being coming fucking Iron Man, Superman, fucking Kamen Rider, Power Rangers. Come on, man. Like, if you are, like, doing, like, YouTube or Twitter, you you are the show, right? You get to do that. And you're wondering, do I do this in real life? Yeah, I do this all the time. Come on, man. I do this yelling shit in my room. Nobody can hear me. Actually, my probably my family hear me. I do that, right? Because I know I, I, I can see the effect, right? It's just freaking awesome, okay? When you have an effect, and let me tell you a story. I shouldn't tell you this, but I'll tell you anyway. I remember back in uh, trade school, boarding school, they uh, we were at that time the culinary arts was shutting down. Um, I don't know what was happening, and so we were in the dining hall. I say, I cut off your. I don't know why I said to the teacher that was stupid. That was really stupid. I think I said I, I cut off your balls. Okay, his name is Mr. David, right? And I said, I cut off your balls. But he was, the one thing that he ever did was great was when he cut off, like when he throwed the egg roll and cut off in front of me. Let me tell you a story why he did that. Because every, have you ever watched Rush Hour 2 from Jackie Chan and uh, Chris Tucker? Where uh, Jackie Chan tell uh, Chris Tucker that they're, the triads, the Chinese triads, will cut off their egg roll. And then Chris Tucker said, cut off our egg roll. Uh, hell no, come on, fight that, Lee, chum on, Lee, and then, um, and then I was like, oh, egg roll, so I start saying, I cut off your egg roll, everybody know that I say that in the boarding school, like everybody, so I cut off your egg roll, I cut off your egg roll, and then one time, my friend, um, I, we call him Twilight, and I was like, hey Tony, I cut off your egg roll, throw outside the window, and burn them bitches, and I said that every time, and then I said that every time, like, I guess, it catch on to the teacher, so the, the 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 culinary arts teacher just in the kitchen. Where I guess we're making like um, I don't know what we were making, but they were putting uh, I guess egg rolls, and he threw the egg roll in front of me, he cut it in front of me, and my friend's like, oh shit, he did, oh shit. See, that's the freaking lit thing. That, that that that's cool. That's cool. When you get a teacher to do that, that's cool. Okay, that is epic. Okay. I want to have epic experience with people. That's fucking awesome.